Sarah was born 1997 in Stockholm, Sweden. She is now taking over the world step by step, but let's go back in time to when it all started. It was in 2008 when Sarah participated in Sweden's Got Talent. By then she was only 10 years old. been singing my whole life since yeah. I was very very little and I've always known that I wanted to be a singer so it was never like I woke up one day and thought oh you know I might want to do this so it's always been like this is what I'm gonna do um, so when I was 10 I just felt like I wanted people to see me and I was too young for being on X Factor and Idol and all all these kinds of shows so I went on the Swedish version of Brian's Got Talent. The judges loved what they saw and participating in the contest was her first step into fame. She even ended up winning the whole competition. Sara Larsson! Amazing. So did you get a record deal from there and then? No, oh. no, I didn't. I was 10 and I was so excited for everything that, you know, was coming up after the show, but nothing happened. And nothing. I was like, nothing. I just went back to school and I was devastated because I was like, my career is over. <laughs> so I, just, I was like, it's over. Yeah. Sarah was not able to get signed when she was 10 years old, but in the meantime, she became a child star in Sweden appearing on TV several times. But she have stayed very clear from the beginning that where she wants to become famous is in the United States of America. In 2009 Sarah appeared on the Swedish TV show, I Want to Become a Star. In that show we could see Sarah traveling to the US in the hopes of becoming famous. She's, she's very special. I mean, amazingly special. I see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids during the year. And, um, you know, there are lots of talented kids. But uh, when I saw her, I thought, uh, this is you know, above all expectations, it's got the special something to become a superstar versus a really great uh, talent. This is superstar quality, really. Came out, they said, we didn't want to let her go, um, which it really doesn't get better than that. And she went back in and they loved her singing so much they had her sing again. So fingers crossed that uh, this one will work out for her. I think so. Hanna kommer bli så avundsjuk. Demi Lovato. Här är Jonas Brothers. And the fact you made the modulation in perfect pitch, that was pretty cool. Thank you. You're welcome. I just started to work with Sarah and it, it's it's so hard to find songs for somebody who's 11 with yeah. that kind of voice. No, I get it. Because, mm. of course, we can do a kid song, but that's not fair to Sarah, because no. Sarah needs something with power. Yeah. And we, when you do a song with no, power, I, yeah. it's hard to, re hard to reach the young audience. Mm -hmm. But even the up-tempos 
should be some sort of showing the voice, but still for tweens. Well, it's all, you know, I mean, we live in the world of branding now, and that's what it really is. I mean, it's great to have a great voice, but, you know, it's like the, the consensus is there's a lot of great voices out there, and there's a lot of pretty looking people with great voices, you know? Your story is really fascinating to me, because at the age of 10, you win uh, the America's Got Talent or Swedish Got Talent exactly. show. Yes. You release a single off the show, and then you take years off. Yeah. You decide, <laughs> wh Why? Because when I won it, like the single was actually the song I won with, which was My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. And I was 10 back then, so nobody really wanted to sign me. Because uh, yeah. they were like, what are we supposed to do with you? It's a 10-year-old singing yeah. Celine Dion, like where do you but, go? But I was, I was so sad and devastated because I was like, okay, nobody wants to sign me, I'm 10, like mm. my career, it's, it's over. <laughs> Yeah, but um, then I got signed when I was 14, so I was like, well, it's not actually over. Sarah eventually got signed 2012 to 10 Music Group in Stockholm. That's where she started the process of becoming a real artist. She would soon start to release hit after hit single and become Sweden's brightest shining star. Know who to trust, you say I worry. 